Hey John here from Web Agents. Thanks so much for joining me on this video today where I'm going to show you how to create a terms of use page for your website, how to create the content for it, and how to actually put it, publish it on your website. It's up, so it's terms of use, they call it sometimes terms of service, uh, terms of conditions, similar names for the same sort of page. Um, and it got me sort of thinking, well, why, you know, why do you need one of these pages? And they are important. You should have it at a minimum for SEO reasons, like Google likes it when you have one of those. So if you want to improve the search engine ranking of your website, you definitely want to have one and put it, a link to it in your footer of your website. So it's on every page that people visit. And again, I'll show you how to do that too. But it's more than just SEO reasons you want to have it. Uh, and and I wasn't 100% sure. I sort of had some ideas, but I thought I'd do, do a bit of research. But basically, you need it, uh, as it says in this particular article, it's a way to set up rules and regulations for visitors using your business's website. It's a way to protect your business, business by limiting liability if a customer were to take you to court. So, and it talks about how, so especially if your site, there's other people posting stuff on it, like it's a social media type of site, or even just comments on your posts, because, um, you know, you can't, uh, you know, people might be making statements or claims um, that are not great. Copyright reasons, you might want to have content, you want to protect your content, um, yeah, so all those kind of types of reasons. So it's definitely a good idea to have a terms and conditions page or a terms of use or terms of service page on your website. So um, now I must say from the outset that I'm not a legal professional so and I'm not offering legal advice. And I do encourage you if you're concerned that maybe your terms and conditions doesn't have everything you really need, see a legal uh, professional about it. However, having said that, all right, I'm going to show you how you can generate one yourself for free. Now, I just I, I, I've used this site a few times myself. I really like it. It's called termsandconditionsgenerator.com. Terms and, and conditions generator.com. It's totally free. It's not one of those because there's some out there. Like if you do a search on Google, there's some there's lots of free terms of service generated sites, but a lot of them. It's free for a personal site, but if it's a business site, they charge you some money and so forth. But this one, it's just totally free for you. Um, okay, so uh, if you come to this site, and all you need to do is you enter your business name. So I'm going to call mine John's Likes. Uh, your website name. So sometimes your business name is different to your website name. Okay, and your URL, so mine's johnslikes.com. All right, next. My country. It's important to choose the right country. Whichever country you're situated in. I'm in Queensland, and my email address. Okay, so there we go. Got all those things. And generate my terms and conditions just takes a few seconds and here it is so this is actually this is it here they've they've personalized it All right so this is not just a, a generic one well not totally anyway but it's definitely personalized um, they offer you a link so they've actually created a page now um, but I wouldn't recommend you link to their site from your website as your terms and condition you just basically want to copy this content and put it on your site publish it and i'm going to show you in a second just how to do that now you can also they've also given you the html code here which you can copy which i've done there copied it now um, so coming back to my site so i haven't really done a lot on this site yet we're building it up together so all right so i'm just going to log into my so on doing this site on WordPress, obviously, um, as I do pretty much all my sites. All right, so I'm locking into my WordPress dashboard area so we can create this new page. So I'm going into pages, and I recommend you do this as a page. Don't do it as a post. Do it as a page. So we're going to add a new page. 
All right, so I'm going to call it terms and conditions. Now I'm in uh, code editor. All right, I'm going to paste. I'm just going to paste what uh, I copied there. And since I put terms and conditions already here in my title, I'm going to delete that terms and conditions part there. All right. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to I'm just going to publish that. And I like the um, the URL. If I don't, if you don't like what the um, the URL is created, you can change that here. But no, that's fine. All right. So let's check it out. Let's um, view this page. And beautiful. There it is. Wasn't that simple? Nice and simple. It's all done. It's all done. All right. So. You might be wondering, okay, how do I get it here in the footer? So in a previous video, what we did was uh, here in uh, appearance in menus, what we did was we created a new menu just for the footer section. So we created a new menu, um, called, we, I called it legal pages. And what I can do now to create these terms and conditions, I can tick that, click on add to menu, and now that's added it there um, with the privacy policy. I can save that, and, and and I'll show you a bit more about that for those that haven't watched the privacy policy video. I'll show you in a second. But now, if I refresh this page, we've got now terms and conditions here, and that links to the page terms and conditions. All right. So um, again, what we did. Uh, it basically in the um, in the widgets section because uh, in the widgets area you can put things into the footer so here for this particular theme the Astra theme we have four widget areas in the footer and in the fourth one what I did was we, we dragged this navigation menu we dragged it here and then we set it and then us us to choose which menu and we chose the legal pages menu so that's basically how we got it in the footer all right so that's it and and, and by the way if you're not sure about how to get that link if that was a bit too fast towards the end there about getting the terms and conditions link in the footer section just do a search in, on my channel so web agents channel web agents North Lakes. do a search for our privacy policy how to set up a privacy policy video um, and that's going to sort of give you more more details about uh, for the Astra theme anyway, how to get that into the footer section. But that's it, you know, that's it. We've we've done it. So um, if you have any comments, or if you want me to about this video, or if you want me to make a video about any other topic that you need help with, leave a comment below. I'm always checking those. A thumbs up would be great if this video was helpful for you. I'd really appreciate it. And if you need any help with anything with your online marketing, uh, my name's John. Come and reach out to me. Come to webagents.com.au and send me a message and uh, I'd love to help you, help you out. All right, thanks so much for watching this video.